everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stassi. Thank you so much for being here today. I am so excited for this round table. Um, I think this is the most people I've ever had at a round table and I'm loving to see so many amazing simmers here today. So thank you guys for coming. And today's round table is all about what it's like to be a Sims YouTuber. In my personal opinion, that Sims and YouTube really kind of go hand in hand. I feel like everyone else here will agree. So I'm so excited to have this amazing round table with so many amazing Simmers. So we can talk about tips and tricks and what is it like to be a Sims YouTuber. So thank you everybody for being here today. Thank you for having us. Oh my God, thank you for wanting to be part of this. <laughs> um, I, when I put out, put out the ad, we, I, it was sass mouth. She was like, she yeah, tagged you. like 40 people and she's like, yes, yes, yes. Get these. And I messaged every single person. Some people were like, yeah, absolutely. Some people are like, who are you? So <laughs> <laughs> anyways, thank you guys so much for coming. So we're going to go around and we're going to do quick introductions before we get started. So I know we just practiced this. Definitely Stephanie. Def, definitely. Def, so def, close. Def, definitely. <laughs> you go first. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your Sims history. Okay. Uh, well, my Sims history, OG Simmer. So, you know, since launch. So uh, a lot of, lot of practice playing The Sims. <laughs> Very little practice YouTubing The Sims. I'm brand new. Brand new. Just started doing this like three or four weeks ago. I only have three videos on my channel. I'm 90% through editing my most recent fourth video. Um, and editing takes, as you all know, a million years. So, <laughs> so, so that's going to be up soon, but I, yeah, brand new to YouTubing. Um, so I'm actually here more to learn tips than I am to give tips. So <laughs> I hope that's okay. So that's where I am. I love that. Um, <laughs> uh, Milge Milge, I get it. Did I get it. Did I get close enough at least. <laughs> There's no sound. I can't hear you. I, she just, I don't think she can know we, we can't hear No, we can't hear you, love. Yeah. <laughs> there. <laughs> nope. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we will come back. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you'll get it. Milge, milge. Milge, milge. I, I tried to <laughs> practice that last night while I was waiting to get into the Christmas market, trying to remember everybody's name. I was like, milge. Blame, like, blame my mom, not me. <laughs> no, it's okay. Milge, milge. Talk to me. Uh, introduce yourself and a little bit about and about your Sims history. So I'm Milge Milge, Lithuanian Sims 4 creator. I'm just playing Sims 4 and nothing else. I don't really have any history with any other games. So I'm playing like something around like five years in general. And I have a YouTube channel for a couple of years now. And I actually would like to get some tips as, as well because <laughs> it doesn't matter how long you have like YouTube channel, like seriously, it doesn't matter. You still need tips and you constantly need to readjust your strategies or something because <laughs> it's it's never it's never on top so yeah <laughs> that's it I think <laughs> oh thank you I agree I, I also need some tips and tricks I've been a, I think yes. I've been for a year and a half and I mm. like I only have like 287 subscribers and I just like I watch it sway back and forth every day and I'm like that's fine that's oh, good for my know, mental but it doesn't matter like how many subscribers you have because now it matters the um, the views. Mm -hmm. So you can have like I have ten thousand subscribers, but like I have a couple of thousand views, and it's like it doesn't really like matter because um, yeah, you to um, see how many views you have. So yeah, <laughs> see that's a tip or trick right there that I need to know. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Uh, Say <laughs> Sage plays The Sims. Tell me a little bit about yourself. No sound. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, we will come back to uh, Sage Place of Sims. Laura Simming, how about you? Hi. Uh, so I'm Law. Hello. Um, I have been playing The Sims since like 2001, I want to say. So that just gives you a, a hint at how old I am. 
<laughs> but I'm with um, you. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I only really kind of got into the online Sims community like just before the pandemic. So I, I guess I've like a lot, like a lot of people in the community, like you know, not working, stuck at home all day, all week. You know, what can you do apart from? start posting online sim stuff um so that sort of gradually turned into youtube and i've been on youtube for i want to say like just over almost two years maybe um and yeah it's been a struggle like not gonna lie um the youtube sims community is just so saturated with content so it's you kind of need to find your niche um and sort of work on it that way but I guess we can talk about that in a bit um but yeah so happy to be here love the sims love you guys I think you're all amazing creators I'm just really blessed to be included with all of you oh well thanks Laura <laughs> you're so you're so sweet um Sage plays the sims how, how we doing yes or no uh can you hear me now I can hear you Woo! okay wow. <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, so I'm Sage. I'm also uh OG Zimmer. I have been well playing a bit on and off, but uh I got into the Sims to Cram community about three years ago almost already. So just before the pandemic, pretty much when I was still studying and I felt like I need some creative hobby and I have been playing the Sims so long time that I felt like I want to share it with someone so I'm glad I found this Instagram community mm -hmm. and I have had my YouTube channel about one year now so it's still a bit small because I haven't paid so much attention to it as to this Instagram but I'm willing to do it more now than I have inspiration and time to do it well thank you sage plays the sims for being here we'll definitely get you some tips and tricks uh flower the weirdo thank you for coming today why don't you tell right. us a little bit about yourself and your sims history so i'm flower the weirdo um you can hear me right yes okay mm -hmm. um i've been simming since the very beginning and um I just started my YouTube channel, well, in 2020, of course, pretty much like everyone. But I started because I was watching other people doing it. And I was saying, mm, maybe I can do that. <laughs> so i um, currently at 392 subs. And I'm trying to get 400 by the end of the month. But, you know. I'll sub you. I'll sub oh, you too. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, same, definitely. <laughs> See, we'll get, we'll get you to 400 you. before the yeah, end of the month. My goal in the day. <laughs> That would be awesome. <laughs> and last but not least, Tragic Plum Bob, welcome back. And why don't, you tell us, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your Sims history? Yeah, so I'm an OG Sim up, been playing since the beginning. Um, to be honest, Instagram's probably my jam. Um, I'm rubbish at YouTube. I'm not very good at it at all, to be honest. Um, I end up like, so I feel like, I'll create so my niche is uh, create a sim that's my favorite thing to do um I do enjoy building but it's not it's definitely not the thing that I would say my profile stands out for but the thing that I think that's really hard with YouTube and create a sim you talk a lot of bollocks and that's one of the biggest problems so like when you're building you can talk about what you're building whereas when you're doing CAS so but yeah, like generally OG Simmer um, started Simstagram when the pandemic hit just for a bit of like, you know, an outlook, a bit of something to do rather than just sitting at home doing nothing. Um, but And then I started YouTube not too long after that. But yeah, it's, I definitely more, I'm definitely more of a Simstagrammer than a whatever the YouTube term is of <laughs> Sims. <laughs> Sims. <laughs> I think it's like Sims YouTuber. I was really trying to figure it out this morning. I was like, what are we called? if we do this because simstagrammer has its own thing sims tiktok sims twitter has their own names it's like 
sims to tuber that sounds terrible <laughs> <laughs> if it's just like sims tube yeah sims, sims tube. tube okay i'll take that i will 100 take that so you know what why don't we get this round table started so i gotta ask what like what like if you can remember what sims youtube video did you watch and you're like i gotta do this i got i got i gotta start this i i can do i can be a sims youtuber the floor is open to anybody so go ahead i think with me it was uh james turner james yeah. turner's videos i started watching him and he was just so funny and it was like i wanted to do that i want to be as funny as he is i don't think i am but i try <laughs> but yeah his building tutorials really helped me out a lot okay i i watched a little bit of james turner i was more kelsey and pjk when she worked for buzzfeed oh yeah i liked watching her too when she was doing the 100 baby challenge that the first question mm -hmm. was who the fuck would want to do a hundred baby challenge? <laughs> how much sanity do you must have to do have to have a hundred babies? And how much time do you have to your life to dedicate to that? Yeah. And I was just like, I could do this because I'm like, I'm funny. I can tell a story. I can I can raise a hundred toddlers. I I didn't even I didn't even post it on YouTube. I just tried to do it. Just I wanted to get to ten babies before I started to YouTube, and then I would just reach. <laughs> two toddlers and I had nannies and I gave up <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think I tried it after she she did it and I got to 50 babies and then I didn't want to get rid of my matriarch so I just quit <laughs> like I'm done you got to 50 I babies I want my lady to die Flower, I did. I, Flower I did the weirdo. You have patience. I didn't record it though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it was great. And I would, I it was also it. It was also a Black Widow one, too. So I would have to kill the husband after I did it. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. God. So I recorded it. It would have been so much fun, but I wasn't recording back then. Would you, would you ever go back and redo it? I'm thinking about doing it. I, I, haven't, I haven't decided yet, but I'm thinking about doing it. I would watch in a heartbeat. I love a black, a good Black Widow challenge. Yeah, me too. Definitely. I have... I have like so much respect for people that torture their sims. I personally just can't do it. <laughs> <Me neither. laughs> but I can watch it and I'm like, oh my goodness, how do you do this? <laughs> well, it's like the ultimate question is, as, as I established most of us here are OG simmers. Did you let them go swimming in the pool with taking out the ladder? And then they went for that ultimate swim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we've all, all the time. <laughs> all, I think we've at least all killed a sim at least once in our lives. Like I'm pretty yeah. confident with that. But I I do agree. <laughs> do I like to watch other people kill sims? Absolutely. <laughs> Will I kill my own sims? No, they're my precious babies. I would I would never do. I would never hurt my sims. <laughs> no, I was surprised when I first found out that that was such a thing with simmers. Is like so many people just love finding ways to kill their sims off, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so sad. <laughs> so then one day I decided to build a giant maze and just put like you know the fridge on one end and the bed on the other end, and of course by the time they went from one to the other, they were dead. And I was like, oh I get God. it. This is fun. <laughs> oh my god! At the beginning, like when I started to play The Sims, and I didn't know any cheat codes, like literally any, and I wanted to have normal house. So what I did, I was just like having a vampires in my house and just burning them on the day. So just like adding vampires <laughs> and, burning them, and like getting <laughs> to twenty thousand simoleons every time I have a vampire. <laughs> Oh my god. I didn't think it was torture like vampires. Like <laughs> they aren't humans, right? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's let's not even get started on my story about death. I, I only <laughs> you I'm sorry, tragic couple, you have to share that. And I feel so bad I did not send you the death turn off. I was thinking about that yesterday. <laughs> Again, when I was at the Christmas market, I was like, I can't, I, I gotta send her the death turn off cheat. To I just said that to my fiance. He's like, What? I was like, I meant to do that. And he's like, um, oh I we're at a Christmas market. I don't know if right now is the right time. But anyways, uh <laughs> tragic plum bob, you have to tell everybody um the death story. <sighs> 
So I, I didn't actually find out the death cheat until our podcast interview that had, took place last week. Um, yeah, I didn't actually know it was a thing, um, but, which I'm actually really surprised about because I have a cheat coaster. But anywho, <laughs> um, basically, I some of you might know. So on my Instagram, I do 31 days of spoopy. And basically, I create scenes and it's got like people like it's using a lot of poses so it's like stabbing people all of that jazz and um so basically I was um doing a scene where it was a witch that was stabbing someone on a stone thing um and basically they both died of overheating but because I was using cc the owner and the grim reaper couldn't actually get behind the stone to actually kill them and then the welcome wagon came along started like doing all the welcome wagon but then started crying because there's two dead sims that the grim reaper can't actually get rid of and I'm just sat there going if I turn off my game I've just lost all of this content but yeah I had to I had to stop the game completely because I couldn't read sight the grim reaper could not kill him off and oh, yeah no. <laughs> Yeah, two hours of content just <laughs> layers. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Again, I'm I'm so sorry. I will send you that death cheat. I promise. Also, my camera has somehow given out, so you just get to see my profile picture. <laughs> so cute! <laughs> Thank you. That was from no. an, that was from an engagement shoot that we did uh, like two months ago, and I was like, I this is me in a photo. Boobs out. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm all, so they basically said, oh, I want you to do your best catwalk uh, phase, uh, walk. And I was like, yeah, for sure, whatever. I was, I, I tripped. <laughs> Two seconds in, I trip and I'm grabbing my dress and I look to my fiance and I start to laugh because he's <laughs> laughing at me. But... <laughs> yeah so anyways that's where i'm at so i don't have video so I, that's okay anyways back to sims youtube james turner kelsey pgk obviously little sim little simsy when it comes to like her t tutorials and stuff and then you have delphini and is it plum bella as well also very very big youtubers um i think a lot of them have inspired us to either we can do something like this or we can watch them you know create the world that they they want to create um is there any other sims youtubers that you know maybe we're not is not as mainstream that you watch and you're like i i wish that these youtubers got the love and respect that the big youtubers get um, oh, um, I have uh, <laughs> um, P Frog Sims is one of my favorites. Um, she's uh, I don't know how big she is, but uh, I actually got to meet her in person. I was very excited about it, <laughs> but she was a very big inspiration for me with my channel. Well, there I have I've never like one on one have watched her channel. I have talked to her. Uh, we used to work at the Simmers Digest together. And I remember when she got to the, like, like when she became a partner with YouTube, like that was a really big deal. Now I have to ask, is there anybody on this call that's a partner with YouTube? I wish. No. Okay. <laughs> Not Mel even close. Melga is a partner with YouTube. Okay. What can you tell like what it's like to be a partner with YouTube without giving away any of your NDA? Um... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually very like very much like you are not partnered with. You just like you have the commercials and that's it. Like and then in general, like depends how many views you get. And sometimes if you get like little views, you don't really really get much paid or paid nothing. Like it's not really like a monthly payment. So you know it really depends how many views you have that's why I was like stressing out at the beginning the views because it's like if you don't get the views you're basically like having YouTube without the partnership <laughs> just just like that so yeah nothing nothing to I don't know now I don't even remember what it was like before <laughs> hey I got you so many YouTubers out there want to be uh, YouTube partners because they think that they're going to be making 
thousands and thousands of dollars a month nope, and that is nope. the furthest thing from the truth it's, it's like you have to make videos every single day or like three videos a week or even more to get actually that many views and in general to to be promoted by algorithms otherwise you just like I don't know just gonna have like a couple of views every time <laughs> and that's it and it's gonna be nothing like nothing too special I think because I and thank you for sharing that I feel like it's sometimes it's so disheartening when you mm. like we all know on this call that putting out YouTube videos is so stressful because they take a thousand hours minimum yeah. to edit easy right and you get out there and you put it out there and you get like 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 like views. And then occasionally you'll get more and more. And then like the more subscribers you have, you have a better chance of it showing up in their algorithm or them getting notification that you have seen it. But if, if it's not that, and if it's not creative, like as I think it was, but oh, oh, somebody, <laughs> I think it was definitely, definitely. Do I get, am I getting closer? Who? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> One more time for good luck. It is. Def's definitely. Def's definitely. That's it. I think it was Def Stephanie or Laura Simming or Trash Trash Pop said this the YouTube uh Sims uh channels are like it is overwhelmed with content. And I I I agree with that. Like it's hard to it's hard to stand out. But like for me personally, like it's not even about the money and the program is about like promoting my video to get feedback like comments back just like not even like big amount of views but just to get like people's feedback uh, like being promoted like on their page to, so they can write something down because this is the most like encouraging thing for me personally I do like to read all the comments and just engage with audience and I think that's why many people don't like YouTube for sims content because they don't really get engaged well like they can't really communicate well with their audience um so for yeah, example that's on true, Instagram, actually yeah that's a good point i feel like yeah you know you spend all this time and effort going through editing and doing your intros and your outros and everything else and it's sort of like it's a bit of a sting when you put something out then you're like yes this is going to be amazing mm -hmm. i'm so pleased with this and then you get a zero views and then b yeah. like <laughs> no one comments and you're like oh, why did i just put myself through this like week of torture yeah. for literally no reason it's the most like demotivating part of youtube i think it's just like the zero engagement yeah like like what do you think like we could do on this call to improve that like is it us to always comment on every video is it to like because you can't just dm people on yeah <laughs> um i i know that i think that was a function years ago that you could direct message people on youtube obviously they, they yeah. took that away um i like i agree like, i think like commenting and sharing like like those are like, your best friends when you're on youtube it's share this video like this video comment on the video yeah. because the more youtube thinks that this is getting recognized they'll push it forward with the algorithm which actually brings me to my next question how many like how many of you have created uh youtube shorts i have i have right are you I noticing have. that your youtube shorts are now getting more views way more views no. i agree <laughs> no no i don't know yeah, my, my short sucks <laughs> oh sorry no, don't go no, I, don't know. No, uh, I don't know it's just sorry oh, that's all right <laughs> So I knew I was coming on to this podcast. So I decided to do a bit of a test to try and see because my engagement on YouTube is just not as what, it's not what Instagram is. Like my partner's always like, how is it that you've got these followers on Instagram, but it doesn't transfer over to YouTube? And I was like, it's just not a thing. It just doesn't happen like that. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and make a bit more of an effort. So the past week I decided to add, um, just keep uploading shorts every day. Mm -hmm. and so this week I've added a short every day just a short cast one doesn't require too much editing it's really simple um I ended up getting I think it's around 50 followers this week mm -hmm. just from doing a video every day with mm -hmm. a short before that I don't get I didn't get I don't get followers and stuff but so shorts I think it's definitely it's got there's an algorithm there where people I don't know what's happening with that algorithm but some that's where it seems that's where the followers seem to be coming in it's like every app is just trying to be TikTok. 
basically mm -hmm. that is it like mm -hmm. anything a video that's like 30 seconds to a minute is it's golden it yeah. can it can be anything and it'll go viral you know it, because everything is being pushed because of tiktok that's mm -hmm. that's the only mm -hmm. way to go i feel like with video content because people don't have time to sit down and watch a 30 minute speedboard video they don't want that you know the cast mm -hmm videos i think are more likely to be seen over bill videos because people like pretty looking sims and if you're using cc then people are going to be like oh where do you get this oh where can i find this oh where can i find that oh. so that kind of does help with engagement but yeah you need to shut it to keep it down to like a minimum um time scale like even speed builds like if someone's speed build is 10 minutes and then another person's 25 I'm going for the 10 minute one because I haven't got time to be spending 25 minutes watching someone's video. And I don't like to be that person that clicks off halfway through because I feel like I don't like people doing that to me. Therefore, why would I do it to someone else? Mm -hmm. So even if it's like a really bad one, I will still sit <laughs> and watch it all and, you know, try to give constructive criticism if I can or whatever. Well, um, have I got a channel for you. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I do feel like timing in videos is really crucial at the moment. So funny enough, actually, though, my opinion is actually quite different. So from my like just my personal side. So I actually prefer longer videos because then I don't have to choose another video. I, it's, it's there. It's done. I get to play Sims. I don't have to sit and try and find something else. That's why I end up watching like series rather than films, because you don't have to. You can just leave it on and that, then it goes. Mm -hmm. But I actually prefer uh, speed builds and I do prefer if they have voiceovers because it's kind of like a podcast but with sims building in the background and stuff so my favorite sim youtubers are sim lissy and jessica pie whitey um oh, I don't tend yeah I don't tend to watch um challenges I don't tend to watch ironically I don't tend to watch Kaz videos which <laughs> um but yeah no my two they're my two favorite yeah and it's more because it's it's kind of yeah it's just like a podcast but with Mm -hmm. like building in the background and stuff and it's quite inspiring if you're playing sims as well because you get that you're like oh that's really cool that they've done that and then you can try and use that inspiration into your own builds and stuff i i do like that i when i used to like super build and um do cast stuff i would i would always have sims youtubers on like throughout the pandemic i watched most of james turner's um rags to riches just pick a pack one of the packs that came mm -hmm. up because he always does a rag stretch for every single so I, I mm -hmm. no it was eco lifestyle and I was obsessed with that like I like there was not an episode that I missed I just kind of found like I just kind of felt like there was like episode 57 58 59 60 I just kind of felt that when you get to like 60 episodes like what else more are you talking about with the challenge unless I'm invested in that main character which I wasn't with this one I didn't really care where uh, Kelsey Peachy Kay's 100 baby challenge like I would have taken a bullet for any of the matriarchs the, uh, <laughs> I think it was it was obviously Kelsey Casey and Kelly I think those were the three I would have taken a bullet for three because I was invested in the story because I I think you have to be a really good storyteller if you, if you want to do these videos and some people have it and some people it, it's it's a skill and I agree with Tragic Pump Up. Yeah, it's like a podcast. I I seek out like 40, 50 minute videos all the time and I will watch it through and through. And it's so funny because you'll hear them say at the end, thank you so much for sticking to the end. You guys are my true <laughs> followers. <laughs> thank you. I I agree. Like for like for my channel, I when I started YouTube like a like a year and a half ago, I was like, I can do speed builds i could do cast videos i could do that <laughs> yeah like nobody watched them because i wasn't that good at it and it made it made sense i mean one of my sisters said yeah guys so um i'm building sailor moon so anybody who doesn't know what sailor moon she's on my wall over there <laughs> um she's a kid show from the 90s here's a photo and like stuff like that and but, I, I mean you just made us all laugh so if you're doing it like that <laughs> that's perfect <laughs> That's oh, your short. <laughs> I can I can sit here and tell you I have way more confidence now than I did before. It's like, hi guys, my name's Kelsey. No, but it takes time, right? Um, but no one was watching oh, yeah. it. It was, it was disheartening. And now I was just like, you know what? 
I don't stick out when it comes to this. I am well aware of that. But people come and watch these podcasts. People will message me all the time. They're like, I'm playing Sims and I'm watching old interviews and I love it. <laughs> also, you look better with blonde hair. Love. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's so nice to see. That's why I do both. Because some people, they're like, I listen to your podcast when I'm working out. And some people are like, I like to watch your podcast when I'm building. And I'm like, awesome. You do you. But I think that's I think that's it. Um, but it's really funny, you tragic pump bob. Yeah shorts get so many more views than the actual videos themselves so i started making shorts back in august and i just took old youtube videos and shortened it down to 15 seconds i literally would take okay. the same thumbnail and just say, and no voiceover just let's just let's, let's say sailor moon for fun because i did that one i literally just took 15 seconds i was going boop 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 and cut and then made that its own cut and then after I zoomed it and I did like her turnaround and that was it and I had like 2,000 views in a day which is like that's great this is so good to know because I have not done a short yet and I was gonna ask like are you are you all using them are you taking clips from your bigger videos and so yeah. using the short yes. to sort of link to your main content, or are you just doing shorts on their own as their own thing? Or how are, how are you all utilizing them? I've done I guess both. it depends. I guess it depends on how much time you have, because like me personally, I'm literally just taking content that I filmed in game and then just didn't finish. And then I'm just being like, hey, I did this room. Look how I created it. Boom, okay. bang, finish, you know, because then it's already pretty much edited. I just had to cut a few things, make it short, make it fast and boom, you're done. But then if you're going for like something specific, like I saw a TikTok the other day of like this, it was like this child and this dog and then the child grows up and then the dog grows up and then the dog dies. And it's like, you know, like the, the like man's best friend. Like I was like crying watching this fucking thing. Um, but I was like, if you're going to do something like that, then obviously like you'd need to, record that and edit it yourself kind of in a, in your own way but like I feel like yeah if, if your channel is mostly around building and that's what people kind of know you for in quotation marks um then stick with the building but then if your content is sort of more well-rounded where you do like a bit of everything then there's no harm in like having a sim being dressed or a specific style or makeup or you know just like anything to do with Cass you know so so I just have an idea about the shorts that like I do like to create shorts for um not shorts uh reels for Instagram but when it comes to YouTube it's a little bit tricky because I know that people who's gonna subscribe me there is like little button on the short like they can accidentally press subscribe it's not really actual subscribe you know it's not like they're watching your video and say oh I like this creator and I'm gonna subscribe so I'm a, a little bit afraid to post there because I think if they're gonna subscribe my shorts they might want to watch ju just shorts but I create actual YouTube content I don't really want them to watch shorts so I'm just like that's why I'm not really like to post there and I don't really trust the shorts if that makes sense uh, so yeah so I like to create dollhouse um, tutorials like speed up the build videos but now I when I have TikTok so I post there but in YouTube I'm like no <laughs> oh you, you should do it your dollhouse is like the best <laughs> they're the stunning thing. absolutely well. stunning when you do like them Instagram reels I'm on it like I, they're like my favorite reels to watch you should, you need to put them on YouTube because I it love it so sometimes but then don't get many views like I get some subscribers but I always afraid that like if I get subscribers they're not gonna watch my like my my actual content that I'm actually working a lot <laughs> mm. It's, it's it's difficult isn't it it's really hard to get that balance between you know getting people to watch a full length video that you put your heart and soul into than a sort of throw away 20 second clip from something exactly. you did ages ago you know it really is a, a hard knife to, to walk on you know yeah I, I spoke about this with Stassi last time and I think my biggest my top tip when it comes to content on instagram on youtube is don't do it for the subs don't do it for the likes 
don't do it for the nice comments. It's great when people do that because it's like serotonin and all of that jazz, but do it for you. If you enjoy the content you're making and you think it looks great, don't worry about the subs. Like that's kind of my view on it. Like I don't really care how many, like it's great that I get that engagement, but like if I don't get that engagement, it is what it is. As long as I'm enjoying it and I can go, huh, that's a sick video. I'm well happy with it. <laughs> it it's fine. And I think that's like probably the easiest way not to get disappointed or disheartened. And I mean, and I think sometimes like when you do have that, it just pays off because you don't have to worry about it. And then if you do get views, it's better, like, you know, it's cool, whatever. Now, do yeah, shorts, true. oh, sorry. No, go on. <laughs> um, do shorts, again, I'm unfamiliar with shorts. I haven't really played around with them yet. Do they kind of live on their own planet or does getting a bunch of um, views and engagement on your shorts kind of help your whole channel in general? I have no idea. I like I know they're supposed to, but yeah. okay. personally, they don't for me. Okay. Um, I, they... I feel like YouTube are constantly changing how they lay mm. things out anyway, because I saw yesterday that on our Xbox, the shorts have like their own new part of the feed now. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's it's the the whole site site is constantly changing how it lays out its short videos. But I do feel like there is a lot more visual awareness of shorts when you go onto the youtube website like it's right there slap bang in your face and at least um, there's some likelihood that if somebody watches several of your shorts that they'll eventually so either subscribe or check out your other content i imagine yeah exactly yeah i, I mean if to... someone's curious about your stuff then they're gonna check it out you know uh good good advice. <laughs> Tragic pop <laughs> you were gonna say something Oh, I was I was going to say well it has actually improved like the shorts and reels have improved my like general views um I don't know if there's a connection there or anything but my views have gone up since I've started posting shorts um I think part of it so I I do try to connect my shorts with the content I'm already posting because one it's you're getting two loads of content for the same amount of time and then two I think you have to kind of in the nicest way this sounds awful but you need to use Sims a little bit because, so for example, they've um, announced that they're going to have babies come into the Sims, mm -hmm. use that. So I created a, my latest CAS was I created a pregnant Sim and because there's new babies and things coming out like that. And because I've connected it with something that's going to happen in the future, mm -hmm. I think that then gets more traction because people are like, yes, babies are pregnant. Oh. Yeah. And it just kind of <laughs> happens. They're searching for it. So you're more likely to show up in their feed, which uh, is, yeah, which I think it's important to sort of, if you're going to be legit an online cr content creator, then you need to be ahead of the game a little bit. So if like the Sims say, oh, okay, coming soon, I don't know, new teeth, then you need to be posting content about Sims teeth. Do you, you know, that's that so stupid, exhausting. But... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it really is, but it's time it to build does... a dentist's office. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm so tired like every time they create new pack and I'm like oh my god everyone's posting something new and I'm like I still have to finish this house that I started like a few months ago and I want to post it now not the new content <laughs> so I know fun. I'm exactly the same like every time something new comes out I am two weeks behind <laughs> everyone else but it's yeah it's <laughs> um how about uh Sage plays the sims and flatter the weirdo is there anything that you want to add to this well i know with my shorts i've been taking glitches in the game or just me being goofy and putting them up there they don't get as many views but i have a lot of fun with them <laughs> i love that kind of content though yes me too yeah same when the game that breaks it's like the best me. thing for me because mm -hmm. i find it fucking hilarious <laughs> yeah <laughs> That, that content scares me a little bit so I decided to do it once I did it with um so I had a bit of a glitch with werewolves and cc eyelashes so I <laughs> decided to do that as a reel and honestly I've never received so much hate on a reel before <laughs> it was just like what you don't know how to use cc and I'm like oh, it's just a joke it's just it's a reel just a little bit of fun. <laughs> that is it though this is, like me personally like I dread if any of my work became like viral I would probably hate it because I had a TikTok and it got like 28,000 views. And with that came the most ridiculously stupid comments. <laughs> to the point where like I was pulling my hair out saying, 
you don't understand like why don't you just read the video just just watch the video honestly I was using like the tool mod and I said like hey you don't have to have the tool mod this you don't have to have the tool mod to put this in your <laughs> game for it to work and the amount of comments were like but I can't use CC it's not CC <laughs> I actually posted my last I video on this it's talk not with... a mod. <laughs> There was like a video I posted last time with no CC on the video. And then their question was, what CC you used? And I'm like, <laughs> how more obvious I can put the description, <laughs> dude. Honestly, it's not difficult. So on a, yeah, I just, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd be able to handle being successful. <laughs> Me neither. Mm, I think so too. <laughs> I actually have fun, um, like reading all the comments because one of my video got viral as well on on tiktok and there was like lots and lots of comments like hundreds of comments and i was like reading like in the morning like oh my god when do i finish reading those but it's fun it's fun <laughs> nightmare uh what about sage plays the sims how about you uh i have been thinking about the shorts because i see one of my friends makes them quite often and i think they're fun to watch because they're so quick and you can just mm -hmm. i prefer that kind of stuff too or can i just like to watch some um uh, like gameplay longer videos but like some cats videos i'm like eh, not really unless <laughs> it's some cc hall mm -hmm. sort of thing but i think the shorts work very well on cast so I would like to try it out myself too yes I've seen some fun fun shorts like that so I would definitely want to try oh yeah I mean it, it's so easy because all you have to do is just you, you create your sims you get your get your thumbnail mm. get exactly what yeah. you want go this is how I make it and then you show it and you're just mm -hmm. and you and you can add links below but um it's 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 easy it's, it's a lot of work but yeah. once you once you get into the rhythm of making shorts, it's so quick. Like it's it's yeah. so it's so 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 easy. Um, we were taught we were kind of talking about um what it's you like yourself. <laughs> so, I'm joking because I make stop motion videos, so it's not, never easy. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll get to stop motion videos in a minute. <laughs> Make stop motion reels, so it's not easy either. No, but if it's already oh my already god, have, stop it's... motion reels don't start. I've had oh, oh my gosh, I only make stop motion reels, so yeah. <laughs> oh wow, yes, I have seen plenty of those, and I have always thought, like, how do you do it? Like, I'm so curious about that. Like, with the with the holy <laughs> power, like, some <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> I mean, why not? What, what are we talking about right now? How do you make a stop motion uh, video slash short? Me? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have the, the build that is already built, and then I delete every single object one by one, and then, yeah, make a picture with every single object deleted, and then, like, change the angle every time camera moves and then delete again till there's nothing left and that's it and then I put everything in Adobe Premiere and and then edit that's it <laughs> well sounds sounds easy <laughs> but it that sounds really time. difficult <laughs> but like for for dollhouse it takes a little bit like well it takes less time because it's just one room so it takes sometimes like half an hour <laughs> sometimes hour um Mm, I don't know if I'm very very fast like it can take it, it can take less but then I have to like very focused and do everything very fast so yeah <laughs> how so many you... frames per second like how uh, many images per second um, mm -hmm. I don't even know like I never count for dollhouse because it depends on the on the on the dollhouse but for video like proper video it's like more than thousand like about two thousand and what software did you say you were using? Uh, Premiere. Premiere, okay. Yeah. So, so when you do the the dollhouse ones, so do you so you build the whole thing and then do, and you do that yeah. same process, with Yeah. That is actually such a good. So I've been doing it the other way around. I've been 
building it, adding an object, taking the picture, then adding the next object, taking a picture. But actually, it's it's very yeah. it's very exhausting. Like if you because yeah. that's what I did with uh, speed build because like what I can't do, I can't just build. Like I was talking with Stasi that it's it's very like it's very exhausting for me to just build the whole house at once and film it. So. I, my first video was like I had a house like Ponyo and then I was like okay um now I need to rebuild everything again because I can't <laughs> I can't just film it like because I take like two weeks or three weeks to build one house because I forget it and then I come back and then I build again so so yeah I was like building again I had all the pictures what I already made <laughs> I was just building again and filming so yeah I, I decided that stop motion videos work for me better because the house is already made you just need to delete everything yeah but I um, really tip, wish don't, I don't forget to upload your house to the gallery <laughs> before you <Yeah>. delete me <laughs> that's a good I've done tip that. <laughs> mm-hmm. that's a good tip I am um, I really wish I could do a stop motion for a whole house because the amount of times I've sat at my screen recording and then been like, no, nothing's happening. Mm. And then not be recording and build a fucking masterpiece has happened so, <laughs> so many times. And I'm like, oh, if only I could like, make this into a stop motion video, uh, my life would be so much easier. But um, alas, I have a graveyard of bills I'm really happy with, but YouTube will never see them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I really like doing stop motion. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Um, I have one series on my YouTube channel that's it's um from base game to no limits. So I do a base game house and then I delete everything and then I put everything back in like with no limits, like pack wise. So cool. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Love yeah and when Sounds I first fun. started doing it, people are like, why? Are you deleting all the stuff from the house and I'm like well it's it's like a progression you know <laughs> so then I put both the base game and the other thing on my uh gallery so That's yeah really I really like idea. doing stuff it's mostly. like your own version of a fixer-upper like these yeah, are exactly. the limits you had when you bought the house and now yeah. you have a bigger budget and you can yeah. do whatever you want I like it um, yeah and then I do the shorts I do um stop motion shorts and I usually will just plop down a room and just do one room for the short. And a couple of them gotten a lot of views, but most of my most of my stuff doesn't get a lot of views. Uh, don't don't worry. worry, we're all gonna help you with that. <laughs> yes. Thank you. We will get you to that 400. Yay, I've already <laughs> subscribed to all of you ladies. No. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> um I, I'm talking about views, it's it's kind of interesting. So it, like marketing, like I mean, I took, a mar- I, I took my marketing course years ago, but what they literally teach you one-on-one when it comes to YouTube is your thumbnail is the most important aspect because that's how people get, <laughs> they click on it. They'll be like, oh, like I'll watch that or I'll do that. But what people also kind of forget about YouTube when it comes to views, it's kids. It's kids watching your videos and they'll watch it through and through because they don't understand what's to stop right? Especially if there's no ads in between. Um, it's, it's weird to say, cause like most shorts, it's kids viewing it mm. because that's how, again, kids develop five, 10, 15 second videos. How many can kids watch, right? Kids mm. at a dinner table, take the, take your pad kid. I, 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 I got to clean up. <laughs> they, could, they could watch 200 shorts in five minutes. If they're all 10, 15 seconds long, because literally you should not have a short longer than 15 seconds that is literally everything i was taught when it came to videos like that 15 seconds or more you're done 15 seconds and less you're gonna get so many views and it's true any real or short or tiktok i have that's 15 seconds or less instantaneously boosted up anything that's 16 seconds to a minute because for shorts anything over a minute is no longer deemed it short it's just a yeah video. how long can they go like technically 15 like... seconds to a minute is, okay. is your window anything over a minute comes to itself its own video so really? something i found out this week which yeah. is crap so yeah you can do 60 seconds but you can't have a whole music song for no 60 the, seconds. the music on youtube is 15 seconds yeah 
And that's, that's it. all you get. Like, what yeah. are you supposed to do for the next 15 seconds? Just oh, go yeah. like, and your own music. That's why it's so like, weird. You Royalty don't get... free music. It's... Yeah. yeah, yeah, because you don't get um, monetized. Like, if you have monetization, like if you YouTube program, you don't get monetized for videos who has YouTube music. So that's why you have to add like royalty free music. Then you can adjust your time as much as you want. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. crazy. Um, when, when I it... create my um shorts i have like three different versions of the same short I have one with audio for youtube that's royalty free and then i have no sound on the others that go on tiktok and instagram and then i can choose whatever music is mm -hmm. like viral or whatever because i think that helps if you use mm -hmm. the same music is like viral i, I videos. have a i have tip for you <laughs> you go can on. have uh you can have the same video but just like remove the sound on youtube and tiktok I was doing the same, but there is just like audio adjustment. You can just remove sound, original like video, and then use the music. What? And yeah, you yeah. can also do that with reels too. I, yeah, yeah. It's the yeah, same probably. video through and through for me, and yeah. I just put music over top. I was doing the same at first, like using uh, like few different videos, but then I realized, oh no, you can just like adjust original sound, like remove it completely, and just yeah, it's easy. <laughs> what <laughs> tips and tricks get out <laughs> yeah i'm so glad i decided to come on this thing <laughs> <laughs> yes soul i like that one happy <laughs> i am the so, something new <laughs> oh my god this has just saved me so much time and space on my computer <laughs> oh my gosh now i gotta ask because everyone here is on a different time zone when do you guys post your videos Oh, oh, whatever. <laughs> when they're done, <laughs> when they're done, no difference to me at all yeah. when I post. Do you guys schedule your videos? Well, yes. I wish I could. I wish I, could. I started out just posting them whenever I was done, and for the mm -hmm. past like couple weeks, I've been posting them every day at three p.m. Eastern time. Okay, and I seem to get more views that way. Every like, because I would post them at like four o'clock in the morning, my time, and, and you know, I'd get no views at all. Mm -hmm. So I think the scheduling them at a certain time every day has helped. Mm -hmm. Um, So typically what the rule of thumb is, it's between nine and 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is your best friend to post videos. Your best day to post videos is Sundays and Wednesdays best times especially Wednesday mornings between 9 and 11 and 2 to 4 and you're in those windows is what and I've I've, I've done it I've posted videos on every day hence mm -hmm. when I did podcasts I was like why Wednesday people listen to it the most that they're That's happy because Wednesday was the day I decided to not post any videos so now I'll change that. <laughs> yeah Wednesdays um oh my god I never put Wednesdays never it's yeah it's it, there's something weird about it and um on for your Instagram Sundays at 4 p.m Eastern Standard Time best time to post your reels I will wow. share that secret with everybody I specifically yeah. post reels at that on that time I'll have I don't know, five, 10,000 views before I eat dinner that night. Is there something oh, about the cool. algorithm that goes up? YouTube, on the other hand, not as friendly, but Reels, yes. That's like the most peak time there. Don't know why. I just have everyone's, to everyone's meant to be in church. <laughs> 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 but yeah, it, it's it's interesting to see like everybody's YouTube experience is different. I've never talked to the same person twice. It's like, yeah, I have this same YouTube. It's it's different for everybody and what yeah. makes your content different. And someone who's a, 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 a different type of Sims content that's no one came on to this podcast because no one was available were machinimas. That is a huge asset. Okay. I did not know. The flower, the I, I have a couple. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm, it's really crappy, but um, it's a good story. But mm -hmm. because it was my first one, it's really badly filmed. So I'm going to be filming my next one. But I do have the Sparked videos. I have four. Okay. Um, well, no, I think I have six. I don't know. I do have some machinima on there. But would you say that, like, do your machinimas get more views versus anything else? Or do they get less <laughs> views? Well, the weird part is I made a two-part machinima. And the first part got, like, a hundred and some odd views, which is really good for my channel mm -hmm. and then the second part only got like 40 
So, like, I guess they didn't want to, because it, it ended on a cliffhanger. So it's like they just didn't want to watch the second half. Yeah, it, it, it's hard because, like, so I do a lot of voiceovers for Mishima's. I, I've been in 27 projects. And I, and I watch them all and you can see episodes vary it from different episodes. So like, I'm, I, I just finished my run in Davenport. Um, I was hoping I was gonna get killed off. I've never been killed off in any of these. I always live and I want to die in least <laughs> one of them, but like, you can see episode variants, like some episodes will have a thousand views and the next one will have 300 views. The next one will have 900 views. The next one will have 300. Like there's no kind of rhyme or reason. It's just kind of showing like when, what's what's showing up in the algorithm because literally everything they they teach you about posting youtube videos you have to also post on different platforms that you've posted a video you gotta go you gotta put it on instagram yeah uh, tiktok uh fucking reddit Reddit, all this stuff (laughs) now does anybody on here use TubeBuddy? no No, i I use something about it I use it at the beginning, yeah. but I don't know. I don't really know how to use it so much. Just... It's it's interesting. It's <laughs> I I love it. I would never go with it. I just have the free version because I can't I can't throw any more money a month of this at Sims. I mm-hmm. literally they can't do it. But so for an example, so it will say um it, it will give me metrics. So say like I can watch a video and it will tell me it's the next person. How many people have watched this video? Where has this video been posted? Where are people seeing this video? And I can go to other people's channels and see what tags they're using to get onto videos. Tags are extremely important to get mm, your videos. I used. always forget tags. I, I max out. You can have up to 500 characters or something on it. It's, it's, and what you can do with TubeBuddy, you can actually copy your tags from previous videos and just paste it on and. And that's what I do when I do oh, podcasts. That's, that's helpful. Yeah. So I will. So let's let's say this. Let's let's say this podcast is a great example. So I will when I'm uploading this, I will go to the previous roundtable that I've already have uploaded. I will copy that description and I will change out everybody's information and what the podcast is about. But then I go through and I copy the tags and I put them onto the next video and I just add whatever needs to be on the video. So say this, this one is about Sims YouTubers. I would, I would talk about YouTubers, but like, but there are certain tags that get more views. Like, for example, I always have top five, top 10, nothing in my videos have top five or top 10 in there, but that is a very common search phrase. Oh, I didn't know that. (laughs) Yeah. So basically what these tags are, so you are saying that this video has something about this in here. Did I, am I cheating? Like, am I, am I cheating to do that? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, they say like, they say that like your tags must um, represent the video and it, uh, like the whole name, like your tags supposed to, like if there is some certain words and they repeat like mm-hmm. more times, your video gets promoted more. Mm-hmm. Like if that makes sense, but I'm not really sure how it works. Yeah, ah, so, so I, I try to use Sims, Sims 4, Sims, like in every single tag. <laughs> So I do like, (laughs) I do Sims 1, Sims 2, Sims 3, Sims 4, Sims 5, the Sims 1, the Sims 2, the Sims 3, the Sims 4, Mm -hmm. the Sims 5, Project Mm -hmm. Renee, uh, EA, EA Sims, Sims City, like literally every Sim property, I put it on there with the hopes that someone will Google how to build a house and then they'll be like who's the stancy chick i'll watch her video <laughs> like a minute <laughs> 10 seconds in nope <laughs> but that's it's so weird though because i always thought that tags did nothing because it literally said when i uploaded it to youtube underneath tags it literally says tags don't matter unless people misspell your shit <laughs> like it literally says that underneath the the tag box so I was always like eh, I'll just put in the sims the sims for speed build house cool done no nope. <laughs> I, I didn't know that tags like it made such a difference yeah that's so, so weird so why like, do you say that then <laughs> I I just I just know it from school trying to trick you <laughs> yeah I, maybe those I like, bastards. like for I know, example right? <laughs> like my best video it makes no sense I mean it makes sense if you know me 
it's my Prince Diamond cast video from the Sims from Sailor Moon. This obscure villain <laughs> from season two of Sailor Moon. Anyone, if you like, if you like Prince Diamond, please go watch this video. But um, <laughs> he's from the Negaverse, and I am obsessed with the Negaverse. That whenever I get my tattoos, I'm going to have a Negaverse tattoo. I didn't do anything special with this video. I literally put it up. I threw it out there for Prince. It is picking. Uh, it gets like five, six hundred views a day now. Oh my god! And it was so amazing. And it's over a year. It's a year and a half old. It was one of the first videos I put out, and it's so cringy. Because this, the face I make when I start, it's like, hi. Like, I literally look <laughs> like this. <laughs> I sent a picture of it to my fiance. He's like, oh my God. I was like, best viewed video right there. But I have Prince Diamond, Negaverse, uh, everything. If you type in Prince Diamond Sims, I am the first video that shows up. <laughs> I my like my my picture like my thumbnail is in the search as well so is the real the real short TikTok that I did for it. Don't know why that video got the most love. Still gets the most love out of it, but it goes to show you got to do something different. You, you, you can't just make I'm going to make Elvis. Everybody has made Elvis if you're doing cast. You got to you got to pick up obscure characters cuz then you have a better chance of getting viewed and something I do as well. Um, so I am a huge scheduled fiend. I never post the day it's done. I have, I my videos are now scheduled out till March. Oh, from, wow. From tick, no, from, not tick from these, uh, from these podcasts to the, to the, uh, the shorts that are go with them. Yeah, no, it's, it's all scheduled based out. So like what I'll do, so say, um, like I, a great example, Taylor Swift's Midnights was coming out and I knew the date. I made that video or whatever I wanted to do for that weeks before. And I had it coming out the day the album came out. And the reason I do that is people oh are God. going to be searching Taylor yeah. Swift Midnights mm -hmm. or I, what I'll do. So when a big show comes out, so I did it for House of the Dragon and I did it for Power of the Ring. I had, I made uh, Damon, Renera, uh, Lord Collis, a month earlier. You're you're so organized. Like mm -hmm. I literally yeah. finished rendering the video today and I upload it today. <laughs> 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 but I, I, I know because people are gonna Google it at that time. They're gonna yeah. be like, they're like, That's what so is <laughs> Prince Damon? And like uh, that that reel is now getting more views now because the show is done. So people are Googling Renera and Damon marriage <laughs> oh God, i hope not don't even <laughs> <laughs> right yeah you didn't like that i was team incest for that one i was <laughs> like i'm okay with incest jamie and cersei's <laughs> no, no they that was the best incest no! the game. <laughs> i know we talked about that in our simmer spotlight but no <laughs> <laughs> anything with matt smith i i'm down like if like anything i don't like, i don't care for the same you want to kill me with your sword that's totally fine that's, I'm, I'm okay with that but anyways long long story short it it's it's hard with the algorithm because anyone who's going to sit here and tell you because if you google right now i know what the 2023 20, youtube algorithm is going to do and if you watch my video you're going to have a hundred thousand subs by thursday they're full of shit mm -hmm. they are absolutely full of shit nobody knows the algorithm changes constantly all the time and if somebody actually knew the other, I think there's actually one YouTube video that knows the algorithm through and through. And they're a science, they're like, they're scientists and they cracked it. So they literally only post five videos a year because that's all they need to do to get, make sure that they're shown in the algorithm. None of us here can do that. None of us know <laughs> the secrets when we're, we're not, we don't have teams of scientists. And if you do have teams of scientists behind you, Please share your tips and tricks on how to break the algorithm. But, but you know, it's, it's so it's so difficult. Like at the beginning, when I just started YouTube channel, I thought like I definitely need those tips, like just to just to promote my video at least a little bit because like okay, one views is fine, but I still want to have like at least ten. So so I was like watching all the videos, and they were talking like you have to have good content, catchy content, like very good thumbnails. But I'm like, but I'm posting videos and I'm making stop motions. This is doesn't matter. Like 
all these like uh help tutorials how to how to like promote videos in youtube doesn't really matter on my on my content so i was like how to promote gaming content but not gaming stop motion content <laughs> building content it's like it's very niche yeah so that's why it's mm -hmm. like it's very tricky and you basically don't really know how to it's i don't i still don't know actually <laughs> and also the ironic thing for me that i find is that like all these videos are like boasting about knowing the algorithm and knowing all the tips and tricks have the shittiest fucking thumbnails I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, can we talk <laughs> about thumbnails then? Because I would love to know what is like the secret to making a great thumbnail. Have everything that you need in that photo. Okay. Have all your wording. Because I'm going to be really honest with you. Nobody reads. Nobody yeah. reads. Okay, here's a great example of this. I work in marketing. We, 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 we got a big project this week, a huge project, and it's time sensitive. So we sent out proofs and artwork to them. It was approved. They didn't look at it because there was 15 <laughs> spelling errors on their end that they sent Aww. us. And it's just, but here's the thing. People do not read. So for an example, so if, I, if, if I'm doing, let's do... Sword and Sailor Moon again. I would have a very romantic pose of Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask because I know if anybody who's ever going, who's ever seen Sailor Moon is going to recognize the photo that I'm emulating and they're going to want to click on that. And I'm going to, because they're going to be like, holy shit, like she was able to recreate this amazing scene. I sold them. Even if they don't watch it through to the end, I sold them. I, I marketed myself that they wanted to watch this video. Or if, if you're doing like a, if you're doing like a $10,000 or 10,000 Smolian house challenge, take a photo, make it the most beautiful fucking photo of, of your life and go, can't believe this was 10,000. Oh, like like <laughs> people, but people like to see the face. I find in my opinion, I click on videos that have the can I just hire I, you to be my thumbnail? <laughs> I hate this video so much. Like I hate those face. Like I don't know why. It's like for me, I don't buy it. Like I see oh the my face God, and same. Like, and the oh, big YouTubers are wearing the same yeah. clothes and all their fucking pictures. And I'm like, you literally sat there and took 20 pictures of you doing all different faces <laughs> and then pasted each one accordingly on the fucking video you were making, you lazy prick. Like just take the <laughs> picture that you're using in the voiceover. But like oh. for, for building videos, I don't I, I'm not sure what kind of content you create but for building videos i would say like you make like the most like saturated and bright picture because like people just don't mm -hmm. don't don't want to watch dark pictures like if they see it's a dark uh, like house in the darkness something like that they just don't don't watch it i i find myself that is really if you if you don't see the picture what is about it, nobody's gonna watch it yeah mm -hmm. So I, I thought that you're supposed to put loads of effort into your thumbnails until I started having a look at Jessica Pye and um, Sim Lissy's pictures. Literally, all they do for their thumbnails is the final build product. Yeah. And they get thousands of views. They don't, there's no mm. words on it. There's nothing. It's just, that is the picture of the final build. This is what you're going to get at the end of it. Um, I I think I don't. Do you know what? It's like a part of me is like I don't. Even, do thumbnails even matter? Do they? Do they really? Because like I feel like you could you'll copy someone else's to try and get into that algorithm. It still doesn't work. You try and make your own twist on it. It still doesn't do anything. So I, I don't. I don't know the answer to thumbnails. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the best way to go is just simple house, boom bam, you are done. Just make it look really pretty. That yeah. I agree. I don't think because I think if you're placing text as well, it takes away from the main image you want to show. And also be careful if you're placing text not to put it over certain things because the timestamp, if you hide that or you put text underneath that, you're not going to see it. That can sometimes ruin the video. Um, and also, has anyone noticed now that YouTube has got rounded corners on image on videos now rather than the still rectangle boxes? I have. So you're effectively losing part of your image now as well. So um, I would just, yeah, stick it to the main focus of the video, just make it bright and attractive and eye catching. But then if you do do that for Bill videos, what on earth do you do for Kaz? So for my Kaz ones, I do have like images of what is what they're going to look like in their outfits. But I do have words that says create a sim CC because mm -hmm. I think 
quite a lot of people will go to my YouTube because they're like, oh, she's going to post a CC list, um, which mm. I hate, by the way. CC lists are the bane of my life. But like, I don't how I don't know how you display Kaz videos with like and make it as like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's an interesting one. I um I will struggle with trying to come up with a good thumbnail for that. One of my friends, but, her, she does, she did a, um, or she started at least a not so berry challenge, mm -hmm. and her, I think it was like her second video was creating the character, and she actually had a really nice thumbnail for hers, and it was like a cutout of the sim, sort of like semi close up, um, and then like a really cool background, and then the text in the corner like as a cut off, um. And that did quite well, so I don't know if maybe that's something to think about. I, I, don't know. I think going back to something that Stassi said, which I do think is really, like, it is true, is that if you do show your face, I don't think necessarily you have to do, like, the whole, ah, oh, or this or that, but I think if you do show your face, it shows a bit more personality, which then I think when people see what your face is and who you are, mm -hmm. um, I think there's a bit more trust with you and the viewer um, because they're like, oh, this is the person who's creating it. I mean, don't go, I do not do this at all. I don't show my face on any of it. So <laughs> I don't know if, but like, I think like with Delhi and James Turner, we know who they are. We know what they look like. We know who these people, like to some extent, like, yeah, you don't know them, know them, but you kind of feel like you know them mm -hmm. because they're kind of like your Sims friends, even though you've probably, you've never had a conversation with them ever. Mm. And I think it's because they're showing that personality through showing their face. And I don't know whether that would, that does help and stuff. It's marketing 101, familiar yourself with your brand, right? So all these guys are influencers. So basically they're always like, and happy because they're happy because instantaneously when you see somebody smile, you become happy because they're happy. It's literally, that's why when you see like makeup ads, who's frowning in a makeup ad? Nobody. <laughs> who's frowning in ads? Everyone's happy because it's instantaneous. Well, they're happy because they're using this product. So I must be happy because they must like what they're doing, but I knew who James Turner was before I even knew what Sims YouTube was because I recognized his face. People will say like, I recognize you because you put your face on these podcasts. And I'll be like, yeah, that's my face. That's why I literally changed my, for my season two, when I rebranded, I had my face be on there because now that you watch these podcasts, you know what my face is. I hope you trust me. I take you on these wild rides because people will be like, you must be so cool to hang out with them. I'm like, I, I, I guess I don't, I don't know, but it's, but it's, it's a, tr it's a trust thing. I, I'm trusting that you want to listen to me and you, you laugh at my jokes and you think like, am I a clown these days? Absolutely. I'm a clown these days, oh, but, then, but you're but like, then, but you'll know that it's me. So. Then there are those stop motion video creators who has like millions of views and they never speak, never show their face, like yeah. incognito. And I always surprised like, how did they do that? Like now I started to put voiceovers on my stop motion videos and it's, it's crazy for me, to be honest. Like, oh, I hate voiceovers. Oh my God. I hate them so much with a passion. It's so bad. But like, I feel, I feel good. Like, you know, just to uh kind of give a little bit of me to mm -hmm. to my listeners but like yeah it's crazy like how they never never post anything about themselves and still get so many views and like comments and everything so, um, yeah. Milga do you do voiceovers in English or do you do them in Lithuanian? I do yeah See, I, I have have like three utmost people respect for people <laughs> who don't speak English as a mother tongue to go out there and do YouTube videos in English like Honestly, the amount of stress and anxiety <laughs> I have speaking in my own fucking language, I, I couldn't even like. No, I really thought that I never do that because, like, I still struggle to say some words, like some sentences, and then I have to, like, when I do videos, I literally write down everything I want to say and I read it because otherwise I would be like, uh. <laughs> so, oh, that's yeah. me. Even when I've got things written down in front of me, I'm still like, uh, uh, uh. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Cut, cut, for fuck's sake, cut, cut. <laughs> so I, I've started doing this thing. So I don't I don't write a script and I try and do and I don't I try and not do any cuts. And so if, so try so if you're doing anything with the new clutter kit, be really careful when you're saying that very very fast. <laughs> oh no. 
<laughs> so it, it, that's it, me in country kitchen kit I cannot get that out without <laughs> silly bleeping myself to like it's ridiculous honestly yeah oh, but the that. worst part is when you watch your own videos and then you cringe like whenever you hear yourself like every time I watch my videos I'm like yeah. okay let's not let's not listen turn off the sound <laughs> same 100% same. yeah same <laughs> Me too. I can't wait to get to that point where I'm like, eh, I don't care. I sound like an idiot. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> I think, yeah. I think I'm, that's what... I'm pretty much there right now. I just I just ramble and I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time, but I just leave it in. I'm like, whatever. My my name says I'm a weirdo. You know that I'm a weirdo when you look at my channel. So there you go. <laughs> but you guys, you all sound so good whenever you speak. While like me and while me, <laughs> I'm like I'm cringing. <laughs> no, I I, I love know. I love your voice. No, Same. no, yes. No, everyone I... is their own worst critic. I think yes, you all sound definitely. lovely. Definitely. <laughs> oh, believe me, editing podcasts, you you have to love to listen to yourself talk. I will tell mm-hmm. you that. And it comes to YouTube as well. People are like, you gotta love you got you gotta love to talk, and you gotta you can't cringe every time you're like um. Um, mm-hmm. um, because all of your favorite word when you're doing voiceover. Um, uh, guys, so welcome back up to my channel. And this is we're gonna talk about, about uh things today, or it's like that awkward 10 second pause. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> or like, I'll forget the most basic words. Like, I w- I'll forget the word sink, and I'll be like, that thing in the kitchen where you wash your fucking dishes. What's it called? What's it called? You've done a lot. <laughs> But I love yeah. it when people keep it in there because it, it's human and we're nervous. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, with, that's like, what with I, the main so, thing I want to show with my YouTube channel is that anybody can do this and mm-hmm. you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to worry about how nervous you are. Just do it. Just if you want to do it, do it. Well, I love that. Definitely. I agree. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. Well, I want to thank everyone so much for coming today. Why don't we do a quick round? I know we gave a lot of tips and tricks today. And I hope I hope everybody has learned at least something. That was the whole point of this. Just one thing. But what's a, <laughs> what is something that you wished you knew before you started your YouTube channel? And we're gonna start with uh tragic plum bob. Oh first. Yeah, you're oh. first. <laughs> <laughs> to listen to everyone else and like um think about it. Oh, I'm I'm gonna sound like a broken record. I've said this three times to you already now. I think my 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 top thing is to love your own content and not worry about the sub count. Don't worry about how many views something's got. As long as you can sit there and go, I'm happy with what I've produced and I'm having fun while doing it. Because at the end of the day, why did we start all playing Sims in the first place? Mm-hmm. We played it because it's a game that we all enjoy and we have fun with. So who cares how many people are following me on YouTube? Like, I'm to be honest, yeah, it's like what Laura said earlier. If I did end up getting a million subs, I'd probably be like in my bedroom, like rocking because I'm like, oh my God, there's going to be so much hate. But like, <laughs> you know, so just enjoy what you're doing. And that's, and if you're not enjoying it, don't do it. Very good advice. Flower the weirdo. How about you? I think she's frozen. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um, Mine's kind of the same. Um, Basically just be yourself. Oh no. Um, hello? Okay, you're unfrozen. Hey. <laughs> Am I there? Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I for some reason whenever a tragic plum bob talks, I freeze. <laughs> like, it really puts me out too. It's weird. <laughs> okay. So my advice is to just be yourself and just um let your you know, let your weirdo out. <laughs> Because that's what I call my weirdos. I, I call my followers weirdos because we're all weird and we all are different. So um, what I say at the end of my video is remember to always stay weird because weirdos rule. So that's what I, I would like to tell myself back then is to just open up and and just be yourself, you know, mm-hmm. and don't talk so quiet because I used to talk really quiet in my videos. I had to bump it up like so high. But yeah. That would probably be my advice. Okay. A very, very, very good advice. Sage plays the Sims. How about you? Um, I gotta agree with the previous statements <laughs> statements, sorry. <laughs> that be yourself and like have fun and 
kind of be confident in what you're doing, like that you're doing something that you enjoy and like want to share with others because it can be seen if you really like create some content you like or do you just create something for the views, which is like, mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm -mm. no, that like turns me off so much. Like I want to watch something that you can like hear the enjoyment and everything through that person or see it like it's like authentic and it's like real we are all like human and we make mistakes and mm -hmm. like <laughs> we love this game so like I want to see that passion from the content as well I love that uh Laura how about you uh I think for me it's just don't put so much pressure on myself um if things aren't going as you want it to don't freak out just go with the flow um and also don't be scared to break the rules like for me personally I have this phobia of using cc in my builds um but I feel like there's no problem with doing cc builds and putting them out on youtube because okay yeah people on console can't download it but if you enjoy making that content and you want to use this incredible content from the community, then why am I putting myself in that box that I can't use it? Um, so I just think, yeah, don't be scared to go against what you think you should and shouldn't do would be my advice. Amazing advice. Milga Milga. I got it right <laughs> this time. How about you? What yes, advice you can you that. share? The yeah, advice. Um, well, it's for myself the advice right I think it would be like don't stress it out about editing and you'll get better because at the beginning I didn't know how to use uh, Premiere at all so I was like putting every single picture one by one and I did so many pictures like that <laughs> like so many videos like that so I was like really taking forever to make one video and I was like oh it's so bad. I know I sound very shallow right now. <laughs> like, everyone's like, oh, be yourself, be true to yourself. I'm like, how to edit my videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think like I would just advise myself to just enjoy the process of learning. Very, very yeah, good. I like that. I like that. I like, yeah, I like that too. Last, but certainly not least. You got this. Okay, I would. That's why I literally saved you for last because I was trying to work it out. Uh, definitely. Say it definitely, one. Say it one syllable at a time. Def. Definitely. Def. Definitely. Yeah. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so proud. <Yeah. laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't even really get to say. Oh, I wish I had known blah 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 back then because I am just starting right now like I just started I am currently brand new so all of these tips you guys gave today came at the perfect time for me and I'm so glad that I got to participate in this because I did not know some of this stuff I did not know how important shorts are and and that they're relatively easy to make I didn't know that tags still matter <laughs> Even though, like, I think it was Laura Simming said, you know, literally when you go to put tags up, it says tags don't really matter. So I really wasn't putting that many in. I was just putting in, like, The Sims. Um, and, yeah, and just uh, basically all the tips you guys gave today are going to help me moving forward. So I'm I'm so happy and grateful. Thank you so much. You are absolutely welcome. And thank you thank you again for everybody. I guess I guess for me, if I have to give one piece of advice, it's just put out the first video. It's gonna be cringy as hell. But at the time, you're gonna be so fucking proud of it. I can sit here and tell you the first time I ever put a video, it was a cast video and it was with my girlfriend Rachel, because I was doing a let's play with her because she's a farmer. So I thought in real, I thought, it, well, because this is when Cottage Love is coming. I was like, this is perfect. She just started her farm in real life. I could have her starting a farm here. The Let's Play like never ended up working because <laughs> there were so many glitches. Um, and I remember being like, okay, guys. Blah, 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 blah. And here's Rachel and she's my best friend. And, <laughs> and I, I got, she's a farmer. So I put pigtails. <laughs> Farmers wear pigtails. And it was, I, I look back at it and I, I watch actually the vice. I, once you make lots of videos, I go back and I watch old ones to remind myself of where I started and where I am today. I actually more specifically do that with podcasts 
because my first ever podcast with Princess Purdue, a year almost two years ago now, I was so nervous. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And you just kind of grow and you learn and you adapt. You just you, you get out there like, okay, so maybe this time, I, next time I won't do this. Or this time I'll say this. Or this time when I'm talking about skirts, I'll talk about why I specifically picked that skirt. The CC creator that did it. Um, if, if you're working with them, plug their work and, and just kind of getting stuff like that. So just basically get put your first video out there. It's the first one is always the hardest. Yeah. The second one is always easier. True. And even if like you are comparing yourself, like even on like my worst days, I'm like, I'm never going to be a similar But I look back <laughs> and I think, well, she started from nowhere and mm-hmm. she did mm-hmm. it. So why the fuck can't I? And I think that's the sort of mentality you have to have. You need to believe in yourself 150% and just know that you will get better and you will grow. And it could take months it could take years it could take however long it takes but if you love doing it and you want to do it it'll happen like it will happen for you Mm -hmm. so yeah just don't give up never give up you're right Laura it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of time takes a lot of effort but if it's something that you are so truly passionate about like tragic plum of said it doesn't matter if your videos get six views or a thousand views or a million views do it for yourself yeah I look at it like okay, my last video got like, I don't know, 300 views. That's 300 people watched my shit. That's Mm -hmm. incredible. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't even know 300 people. Or maybe you watch your video 300 times. Maybe. (laughs) (laughs) It's not just me in the comments, you know. Oh, thanks so much. Something something my partner used to say because he's um got a youtube channel but it's completely different it's like cars and stuff and when he first started out and things he and he got to like 300 um like people like subscribers he was like imagine you standing in front of 300 people in a room Mm -hmm. and actually think about how many people that actually is because when you actually think about like yourself in a room with that many people like even in a room filled with 10 people that's still still a lot (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> exactly but I think it's because we see all of these people who have like a million subs so you're like oh my little 300 it's oh <laughs> but actually but like, 300 people, that's a lot of people exactly and also yeah. you need to remember James Town has been doing this for like 20 years so it's not like he started this six months ago do you know what I mean yeah. like he's got a million viewers a million subscribers because he's been doing this since fucking 2001 <laughs> 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 Of right? course he has this many subscribers. He's been doing it for as long as people have been alive. So <laughs> it's just, you know, if, if if in 20 years time, I'm still at 300 subscribers, yeah, I might be a bit pissed off, but the chances <laughs> are I probably won't be. <laughs> you know? exactly. And that's where you just need to believe in yourself and stop comparing yourself to others as well. Like that is the worst thing you can do. Don't be looking at, these massive YouTubers and being like, oh, I'm so crap compared to them. Like you are because they've been doing this for a lot longer than you have. Mm -hmm. Like, so yeah, just chill out. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I think this is a perfect way to catch And everybody has a different style too. Exactly. Well, yeah. I think this is a perfect time to cap it all off. I want to thank everybody so much for coming here today. We're going to do a quick round where we can find your YouTube channels. Because <laughs> normally I say your socials, but I, let's let's start with the YouTube channels with this one. Tragic Plum Bob, but you get to go first again. Um, I'm just, everything's just Tragic Plum Bob. All of it, Tragic Plum Bob. Love it. Flower the Weirdo, how about you? Uh, Flower the Weirdo for everything. Excellent. Yep, no spaces. On Tumblr, I have dashes. Okay. And Twitch, I have underscores but i don't twitch that often because my internet is really bad in case you couldn't tell (laughs) well i actually my next round table is going to be for sims twitch people uh i'm gonna have to definitely come up with a better one than switched uh sims twitch people (laughs) it's sims Sims twitch Twitch streamers (laughs) yeah (laughs) that's gonna be the next round table that i'll be hosting so if you want to become a part of that and you want to talk about it i i'm still so scared streaming on twitch because i still can't wrap my mind like how the fuck do you do that how the fuck yeah it was really really scary and i love doing it but it's just my internet i i haven't tried it since we got a better modem but it was very scary the first time i did it but 
it's basically just playing the game and you don't even realize people people are there <laughs> just talking yeah. to yourself most it's of the time so much fun i like, think it's just that like how like how are people watching anyways we will save that for the next round table <laughs> we will save that <laughs> exactly sage yeah. plays the sims where can we find our youtube channel and your socials uh i have sage plays the sims everywhere pretty much so <laughs> laura how about you yep i'm law simming L-A-U-R-S-I-M-M-I-G everywhere. Excellent. Melga, Melga, how about you? Melga, Melga everywhere. You guys are making it so easy. I love this shit. (laughs) (laughs) I should also say that my name is spelled flower F-L-O F-L-O-W-U-R because everyone puts the E in there but it's a a U. (laughs) Well, we are going to have links below for everybody so they can just literally just scroll down and click because that's like the best part to be like easy. Last but not least, and I had the name. <laughs> okay, Def Stephanately. Def you Stephanately. got it. Thank you, you got it. Thank you. And it is Def Stephanately on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And if the name's available on other things in the future, that's what it's going to be. <laughs> well, God, yeah. What if Twitter goes down? We are screwed. Oh, yeah, man. thankfully, Ooh. I've barely used it. So. <laughs> oh, no. How will humanity, how will humanity survive without Twitter? <laughs> Every day, I'm like, one step closer with the Twitter. <laughs> so happy about that, to be honest with you. Anyway. I thought the Facebook goes out first. Sorry? Facebook shit goes out first. I think oh, Facebook God, I and Twitter good. gotta go. Because honestly, Facebook now is just for old people and businesses. Hey! <laughs> and Def's definitely watch your mouth, young lady. <laughs> I, I have Facebook, but it's mainly for my paranormal people because i'm i'm a paranormal investigator so i keep track of my friends over there so and then my twitter is for swim swimmers for- swimming. <laughs> well i love it um thank you guys for coming if you want to check me out please do it's stassi j i don't really post anything more anymore besides YouTube channels and the occasional short, but I don't do that anymore because I, I don't know what free time is. I don't have free time anymore to create shorts. <laughs> but I, I want to thank everybody for you know coming here today. I had an absolute blast. Um, please go follow everybody. The links are going to be below. And I want to thank you guys again and have a great rest of your day, everyone. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, thank you. everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.